material editor, we can quickly make the surfaces of objects more or less reflective so that they have more three-dimensionality and brilliance. These are small details which, however, make all the difference in a render. Here, for example, on the three vases and the three paintings which are matte by default, when we insert them, we apply the glossy preset. To view or edit it from the 3D window, click on the material by holding down the old key on the keyboard. From here, we can change the preset type. For the coffee table and the wooden plate, we use the advanced presets which allow to adjust more precisely the degree of reflection or opacity of the material. Again, hold down the old key from the keyboard and click on the material. Here we use the advanced preset too. If you want to change it, click here. You see we have 10 presets with all the gradation ranging from the shiniest to the most matte material. For the wooden top instead, we use the preset 7 to give it some reflection and make it more realistic. Once the materials are set, we click on Deray, tick the 3D viewpoint item and start rendering.